Hey people, Frank Saman here. Uh, continuing to work on the Scorpion. Working on the road wheels this time. So I can get this thing on the ground on rollers. So I'll show you what I got. It's what you call a double wheel bogey. Uh, two sets of wheels. Each set of wheels is a bogey. So double, double bogey. Uh, the A arm is going to come down and pivot on the joint. So the A arm will be up this way, and that's the attachment on here. So if you notice, I'm using the square tubing as the main body, axles, just half inch round stock, and I cut a slit. For the angle iron, the angle iron is going to be the guides for the guides on the track. Then you see where the, the tires roll on the track. I got two pieces of track here for mock up so I can figure out the spacing and give you a good idea how it's going to be going together. I'll have uh, how it passes the tubing they'll have like little raised areas and bent over so if the track is off to the center it'll hit that and center itself when it goes into the guide okay that's what I'm shooting for today I got four to make there's the tubing for that I got a couple more pieces of tubing for the suspension I have to weld up on and uh, it's like a full day's worth of work. So, here we go.
Okay, I got one done. I got three more to do. But that's complete. Everything except for the kind of pins to hold the wheel on. I just got tape on there right now. Uh, give you a little demonstration. Rolls over the track. The track stays in the place. <laughs> there we go. You know what? That's a sucky demonstration. How about if I just roll it over the real track? <laughs> As you can see, it's not straight. So, uh, get started. And it does follow it. Seems to be all pretty good over it. <laughs> Give it a quick shove. But I'd say it's a success. <laughs> okay, before I end the video, I'll describe how I built this thing. Uh, fiddled around with it a couple times. I had a little problem with the guides. These are the guides. I tried using angle iron, but it didn't work, so I just settled for using a uh, one inch flat stock. And it seemed to work, and it can't be too close to the tracks you need that space in between it right here lead in for the guides so if the track is off to the side a little bit it'll guide it in uh, one inch flat stock one eighth of an inch thick uh, the main body of the double wheel bogey is uh, 2x2 two two square tubing, 1 eighth inch thick, angle iron to help brace it because uh, I assume it would want to open up so it's braced to the axles. The axles are half inch round stock and then where the A arm is going to attach to it's an uh, alternator spacer. Then I welded washers on for the wheel. I think that's it. Looks like a, a roller coaster. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'll finish the rest of them off camera and uh, go on to the next part, which is A frames. So if you have any questions, uh, comment, subscribe, share the video. Thanks, man. Bye.